Hello folks, uh, this is 2022 February March session paper 1 2 and the question number is 7. This question is concerned with the chapter of forces or you can even say dynamics as well. So it uh, shows a single horizontal force F, F is applied to a block X which is in contact with a separate block Y like this as shown. The block remains in contact as they accelerate along the horizontal frictionless surface so they are in contact total contact that means uh, this can exert force on this this can exert force on this a resistance is negligible x has a greater mass than y so x the mass of x is greater and uh, looking at the diagram it shows also which statement is correct now what happens here is if i apply force here the force applied by x on y will be y will be this is f x y applied by x and y and the force applied by y on x will be equal to f y x so these two are contact forces uh, sorry they are action and reaction pair so we must have we must have f x y should be equal to f y x y x so f x y should be equal to f y x now what happens is for body x the body x is experiencing two forces one is f and one is f y x so for x for body x i must have force resultant is equal to mass of x into its acceleration ax this resultant force will be equal to f minus f y x is equal to mass of x a into x for x and for y we have got for y the only force on y is fxy not f because f does not reach till y it is only fxy here so for y we must have f xy should be equal to mass of y into acceleration of y and since they are in contact both of these accelerations are equal so it is mx into a and here it is my into a so a is same for both now which statement is correct the acceleration of x x is equal to the force f divided by the mass of x it claims that a of x is equal to f divided by mass of x so it is not true because from here from here i have got a is equal to f minus f y x divided 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 by mass of x so in addition to f we have got another force also which is f y x so this is untrue Next is the force that x is exertion y, which is fxy, is equal to f. It says fxy is equal to f. It's not true. It's not true. It's because this fxy is because of this action reaction here. fxy is equal to this, is equal to fyx. So if I substitute it here, if I substitute it here, I will have, so from here I will have f minus fxy should be equal to mx into a. So let me see f minus f is equal to something something here so if this were true i must i should have obtained zero here if the force the force that x exerts on y is equal to f y if this and this are equal they should have been zero but we don't have zero so that's why this also not true next is the force that x exerts on y is less than f so this force is less than f it is true this force is less than f because here we have got some quantity here which is a positive quantity so f minus something equal to positive quantity so that means f greater fxy smaller so fxy smaller f greater which is said by choice number c so this should be the correct choice and then the next is the force that x exerts on y which is fxy is less than the force that y exerts on x f y it says that it says that fxy is less than fyx which is untrue because they are equal here action reaction so that's why the correct choice is choice number c